Thank you. Um, yeah, so I'm Sheldon Leahy, and that's essentially what I'm going to be talking about. So a new angle, projectile project, project point types based on distal tip angle. So it was to see, the purpose of this was to see if I could create a template from comparing the Camelot projectile point to the plateau projectile point, and if I could see if there's a, a range of degrees to whatever angle it was. And then from that, I could look at preforms or tip fragments that would then, you could clearly say if this tip or preform falls into the canvas range or the plateau range, and then from that I could date, you can date the stratigraphic layers you find the, uh, the angle in, or the, the fragment or the preform. So it's, uh, to better understand this knowledge, I'll provide a brief history of the study area and the excavations that provided the artifacts for my analysis. So the plateau and countless points are two diagnostic projectile points from the interior plateau of Canada. These two projectile points indicate different cultural horizons. A horizon is essentially a different time period marked by a, te a, a technological change. So from Kamloops to projectile point, or sorry, plateau to Kamloops point. And the pl uh, plateau horizon estimated today between 24 to 1200 before present BP which is roughly 400 BC to AD 800, and then the, Cam the Camelus horizon, which is roughly 1200 to 200 BP, AD 800 to AD 1800. So, yeah, so if any or projectile, any Camelus or plateau point found in the site automatically dates the artifact and the stratigraphic layer between these dates. That is why this feature is so important because it allows us to date layers with incomplete or different artifacts than the complete projectile points because they're quite rare defined. So this is Camelus, BC, my hometown, and this is the Indian, the Camelus Indian Band Reserve land, and the two sites that I was able to look at are from the EERB-140 and EERB-144, and they were excavated by SVU's very own Dr. Nicholas, Dr. George Nicholas, and from his former indigenous archaeology field school. That was run out of Canlis, BC from 1991 to 2005. So this is a summary of the basic uh, statistics that I ran. And as you can see, my, um, my, my numbers for the both points are very small. I only have 10 for plateau and, 10 and 17 for the Canlis point. So my analysis, like all my answers, kind of got to take with a grain of salt. And it, it's not a perfect, at least it has to be about 40 to be a perfectly reasonable range, so I'm not sure what my findings will find because it's such a small sample range. But as you can see, there is a difference between the means of about 8.8 .8 degrees and a difference between the medians of about 6 degrees. And this is shown in this box plot graph. And it's kind of, it's kind of different because I couldn't change the numbers, but the plateau points, even though it looks smaller originally, it's the mean is around 51, while the plateau, the Camelot's point, the mean is around the 44, even though I, it kind of looks weird, but it's, it still says what it did over there. Um, and so this is, I ran some t-test analysis on the two numbers, and I got a range for the, me, for the plateau points of plus minus 6.78, and for the Camelot's points of 3.53. So that means anything between, um, I, did the, I got the numbers, so anything between, um, there you go, uh, 44.62 to 58.18 degrees for the plateau points was 95% confident, and anything between uh, 39.65 to 46.71 degrees for Kenlin's point was 95% confident. And, but there was overlap, so I cannot count anything between 44.62 and 46.71 degrees because they could fall within plateau or Kamloops points. So now um, I did, I ran real world, or I, I tested these templates. So I created four ranges, fall within Cam or plateau point, fall within Kamloops point, uh, fall outside, or fall in between. And as, as you can see, the, the population of 27 of the distal tip fragments it came up with relatively all right for the plateau range and canvas range, but there's many that fall within. 
and it really skews my percentage populations. And the preforms were not, I only had seven to go with and three fell without outside, so they were really useful at all. And so, I'm over time already, but um, just uh, in summary, the, uh, the sample sizes were too small. I couldn't really say anything conclusively, but there is a difference between camelots and, and plateau points, so that future use should be, future research be done on the, on the distal tip angles to see if there actually is a correlation or it's just a failure. I'm not sure, because my <laughs> sample size is too small, so. Thank you.